Public health authorities have issued another notice on the dangers of alcohol abuse. The bulletin comes in the wake of a number of incidents involving motorists suspected of driving under the influence and the viral videos of people believed to be inebriated a few days after the end of the COVID-19 related imposed ban on booze. Health Minister Mary Isaac sparked controversy during a press interview when she suggested a possible permanent ban if St. Lucians failed to moderate their consumption. We may well have to maybe burn alcohol altogether. Now, officials who are making the case for temperance point out that the island's history with the bottle is cause for concern. In the World Health Organization 2014 report, St. Lucia and Grenada recorded the highest alcohol per capita consumption in the Americas among both men and women. While the rest of the Americas recorded 8 liters, Grenada and St. Lucia recorded 12.5 and 10.4 liters respectively. The 2018 St. Lucia National Drug Report indicated that alcohol is the drug often used and warrants treatment at a 45.45% while marijuana being the second 43.64%. The abuse and misuse of alcohol has negative impacts on the health of the population among both males and females, including, but not limited to, liver cirrhosis, motor vehicular accidents and injuries, cancer, mental and neurological disorders, and fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. The pandemic has wrought untold pressures on people around the world, including St. Lucia, with some turning to alcohol to soothe their pain and suffering. While much has been said, especially on social media platforms, in the ongoing debate about personal freedoms and the supposed social perception of alcohol consumption, officials continue to discourage its use during the pandemic. Coordinator of the Substance Abuse Advisory Council Secretariat, Charmaine Hippolyte Emanuel, concedes that much work needs to be done on public education. The latest videos and discussions on social media pointed to how some individuals perceive alcohol. As stated by them, people seem to think that alcohol takes away their stresses and makes them happy. These notions about alcohol consumption serve as a more urgent need for us as a Department of Health and Wellness and the rest of the country to now improve on educational programs and other support services in a bid to curb irresponsible consumption and abuse of alcohol. While many may see the use and misuse of alcohol as a social activity, it is crucial to note its impact on individuals, families, and communities. It is important to note, too, that alcohol, or any other substance for that matter, should not be used as a means to solve challenges or address problems. But what are the economic implications in the debate over the island's love affair with the bottle? Some argue that the sale, consumption, and manufacture of alcohol have been critical to the local economy with or without the pandemic. Emmanuel, who again advised the public not to view alcohol as the prescription for COVID-19 woes, underscored the importance of acting responsibly in a regulatory environment. The abuse and misuse of alcohol are likely to create more challenges, including domestic violence, child abuse and maltreatment, poor mental health, a weakened immune system, and other financial implications. While alcohol is seen as a means of earning an income or livelihood, license holders must take responsibility for their engagements as per the stipulations from a business point of view. Similarly, consumers must adhere to the stipulated laws. Likewise, exercise responsibility with their alcohol intake. The coordinator of the Substance Abuse Advisory Council Secretariat warns that the misuse and abuse of alcohol does not take away problems. She adds, alcohol does not solve the problems and it weakens the immune system, thus placing increased burdens of disease and injury on the body. Chuakim Deplacy, HTS News Force.